anything that's strong enough to stop a bullet and redirect it, hey, you're going to get a lot of fragmentation. You're going to get a lot of shrapnel. So I took it out. And then also his shirt, if you notice the shirt, his shirt looks fine. There's, there's no like holes or anything like that, that that are in the shirt. So if he's wearing body armor, this is what should have happened. All right, so you can see. So it shredded the shirt. And look at all that. Okay. And then. And that's what it's doing to the clay. There was this theory that, hey, was something in his microphone or even something else that exploded and sent a, um, a directional explosion and a projectile up and into him. And that looked a little bit more plausible just by the slow motion video that we're seeing with what his body's doing and what is happening with his shirt. Uh, because we're getting weird movement and expansion on the front as well as weird movement and expansion on the back. So the bullet impact is not matching up with what we're seeing with Charlie Kirk. But when I actually put something, I put the muzzle of a, of a couple firearms into the shirt and then shot into it. Now we're starting to see some shirt movement that matches up with what we see in Charlie Kirk's video. Now, I'm not saying that this is exactly what happened, but it looks more like yeah, it seems like there's some kind of explosion or something happening inside the shirt that's causing this reaction. So, yeah, I think this is plausible. Um, in the video, you can see I, I did it with two different outfits. One, I tried to make it as close to his outfit as I possibly could. Uh, the jeans in this one, I feel like were a little bit baggier than what he was actually wearing. Uh, I don't have any jeans similar to that. And I couldn't find any. And then this pair of pants was a tighter fit that I think was closer to what he was wearing, but it was a thinner material. It, it wasn't jeans. So I feel kind of like... They're both not quite exact, but they're pretty dang close. Now, I, I find it really hard to believe that he was able to get, however, I don't know how far he had to walk from his vehicle to the event, but either everyone around there, security, just bystanders, were just so completely oblivious that they didn't notice anything. I find that hard to believe at an event like this, there's security supposed to be up. People are kind of aware of what's going on.
bone was hit, right? Oh, yeah. See, so that's like, that's kind of what we were all expecting. All right, so we just took a shot right here. Which I think he placed perfectly. And so we're trying to mimic the side of the neck shot. And this is what I was more expecting. If this, if it was shot from the front, this is the kind of damage I was expecting would have happened with the back of the neck. I mean, cause it's, Right there, so we're right next to bone. It's through meat. Let's see where the and it just ripped out the side. All that energy. I'm trying to find our yeah. It. I don't feel any bone. Yeah, we, we were clean. This is clean. So the where all the so what's interesting is it didn't tear through much meat. What it did is it followed the muscle separation from Here, all that let's, energy. Uh, let's shift it so that we're in the sun a little bit. Okay. Turn it this way. How's that? There we go, yeah. So the meat that got torn is here, right? This It tore through right here. The energy, it's interesting that it didn't, what it did was it peeled apart where all these muscles come together. So it's just these, all these layers peeled apart, see that? Yeah, and they just separated in just those weak separated spots. separated through that energy. The actual damage here. So, uh, obviously, different muscle types. Different. Uh, we're never going to do a perfect reenactment here, um, but it's pretty devastating damage. Yeah. Well, wow. I'm convinced. It, it, there's got to be more. There's, there's got to be, be something more. else that we don't know. It can't be a 30 out six. Or, <laughs> yeah. Or there's something massively missing from the story. I, I don't under, I don't know what we we could be missing is the thing, because even just having it hit a 30 out six hitting at that distance, I don't know what we could miss to not get something similar to this, similar results, unless it's a ice bullet. I mean, what else? I, I can't think of anything. A 30 out six has to have an entry, and it's it has to have some kind of exit in this scenario. There, there can't be anything I, else. I don't see a scenario where there's no exit. I don't. Yeah. There's got to be two two wounds, yeah. entrance and exit. Yeah. And on the footage I've seen, I could accept what we saw was entry. I could accept that. Yeah. I can't accept that's entry and there's no exit. Yeah. That. that there's no part of my logical brain with the experience that I have that says that's plausible. I, I just, I, I don't understand the physics of that. Does yeah. that make sense? All right, yeah, I think think we got all, all the info we can out of this. Yeah, agreed. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And then, Danny, your channel? Competitive Shooter's Journey. All right, guys. A little off topic for me, but a really <laughs> important topic to me, though. All right, thanks for watching, guys.